Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs and I'm here with a quick little video. Um, I thought I would, uh, before I put some things away, give you guys an idea of some of the things that um, I bought, where I bought them, you know, where they're sourced from, because I have had people ask me um, questions, uh, especially uh, lately that I'm doing my Boho Gypsy Journal. Um, you know, where I get things and, you know, they'd like to make them, but they're, uh, don't have the kind of things I have or whatever. So maybe this is a way to kind of help everybody, um, you know, get an idea of where I get things and, and what I do. Um, I know, for instance, in this journal, people ask me, well, first of all, this type of trim and braiding and things like that. I usually get this at thrift stores um, just because of the fact that I find them quite often there and it's because I think the styles are maybe a little bit, um, you know, uh, simpler now and uh, for instance, you know, you can get this stuff, you know, usually maybe a dollar a yard or dollar fifty a yard, two dollars a yard or something like that and a little goes a long way. And that's usually where I pick up that stuff. Um, the sari silk and stuff like that, I'll show you that. And then the ribbon and that kind of thing, I get it at different places. A lot of times the material um, is either at a thrift store or I, you know, source it. Or I buy like a quarter of a yard at a time. That type of thing. Anyway, but um, I had put out quite a few videos in the last two weeks and I just wanted you to know I had been gone during that whole time and while I was gone on my little vacation we went to visit my son in Colorado and I've been putting out those videos I had ordered a bunch of things and they came in my oldest son was house sitting for us and he collected all <laughs> for me and I just wanted to show you it was great it was like Christmas when I came home because I had all these great things but um, just give you an idea of the kind of things that I use and where I get them and that type of thing. Uh, first off, I order a lot of stuff from AliExpress. Um, that is uh, a company that you go through to get things sourced from China. Um, you know, whatever social thing that you have an issue, if you don't want to buy things from China, then don't. My feelings on it pretty much are if you buy it from Joann's, you're probably buying it from China anyway. If you're buying it from Hobby Lobby, you're probably buying it from China anyway. Um, so I kind of, you know, I just, I'm just cutting out the middleman. But if you want to get those things from there, I have um, ordered from AliExpress and I have not had any issues with them. And I don't think you can get laces and trim anywhere cheaper than that. I really don't think so. But anyway, getting past that, um, let me just give you an idea. Um, I ordered some cotton trim. I always get my stuff through them. And um, I'm not going to put the different buyers I put out there because you really kind of have to look yourself. I can't necessarily recommend one or over the other, but I haven't had any issues. They're all very similar, but these are just some different trims. Just go out there and look like this is cotton trim. You just type in cotton trim, pull up the app, and this is the kind of stuff that you can get, and it's very, very cheap. Um, so I buy it through them. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll buy just a little bit and if I like it from that buyer then I'll order more. Just beware though, it's going to take you, you know, a month or more to get whatever it is you're ordering from there because it is shipping from China. Um, these are some different laces that I ordered. Um, I think this is all from the same buyer. They're just different colors and I'll get that, you know, just so I have some different colors. Um, this is a trim that I ordered and this will be like one. See, remember I told you I'll order some and then if I like it, I'll order a lot. So I had ordered this and I liked it. So then I ordered like, I think 10 yards of it. 
Um, this is the trim that I used in my journal that I put the ribbon through and um, I don't think I had ordered a lot of it when I first got it but I liked it so I went ahead went back and ordered a lot more probably 10 yards more than likely um, this is some that I just ordered from a buyer I did not order a lot but I like it so I'm probably going to go back and order more okay um, like I said, I, I won't order that much in the beginning and then I'll go back if I like it and then I'll order again. So I got that. Um, if you recall, remember I said I, I when I was using, if you've been watching my uh, making my journal cover, I had run out of this color gold and I ordered more. I didn't had not ordered that much from the last time. This is some other gold, I think. All three of these are the same and so I ordered that so that is all from Aliexpress I also order other things from them like okay so this is a uh, stamp for my uh, wax seal and you know you can get stuff like this a lot cheaper than you're gonna get it you know through a store um, like I said if you're not in a hurry I ordered this um, particular little scissors um, for embroidery just because I wanted them and I thought they were cute so I got those other thing I order from them all the time um, is I got some die cuts and I just had gotten these recently and these two are this is a, a lady um, and this is just um, some sewing things because I'm going to do a sewing journal. And then these are some background stamps that I got. Um, and those usually, I mean, they'll be okay. And then I haven't found any problems with the quality or anything like that. This is just some numbers. Um, and I'll probably use those um, in some of my uh, Christmas... Um, journals but anyway so that's my Aliexpress stuff that I bought and then um, I did want to show you this I got this just from Walmart I went to Walmart before I went on my trip and I was passing not all Walmarts have a fabric section but if yours does just check it out because you never know I love this fabric and I bought it. It was $1.99 a yard. And I don't know if you can beat that. And I thought this was really pretty too. And this is just from Walmart. Okay. Um, I bought this off of Etsy. And I would put the buyer out there. Except they're, they don't, they're not selling this anymore. So anyway, just look. Because there are different buyers out there that are selling this. And this is just Sorry Silk. And it's the Whiter Silk. And so I'll buy things like that off of Etsy. Um, this is the uh, white. Okay. So um, this one. This is Sorry Silk. I got this off of Etsy. Let me see the buyer on that one. And that is. Um, see, do I have any more of that over there? No. Okay, that is, um, it's from India, and the buyer is S-H-I-K-H-A on Etsy, um, and this is like a bundle that I bought. And this is like one big long piece here. I mean, you could certainly cut these in pieces, but they're sewn together. So if you wanted to make it into like a tie or something, here's some more pieces. But that's kind of, look, just look on Etsy. There's different sellers. Um, I was trying to look for another seller that I bought some other stuff from but I couldn't find um, 
her out there so I don't know you know and just try different uh, looking looking around at different sellers and so I got that from Etsy then I have this and these bundles I got from Etsy and it's uh, Vienna Delight V-I-E-N-N-A Delight D-E-L-I-G-H-T dot Etsy dot com and this is on Etsy and um, these are just different pieces of sari silk and as you can see they're beautiful so this is something that I would buy on Etsy and I've bought stuff on eBay also so you know you can get that there too but in any case guys that is kind of uh, where I get things from also while I was in uh, my vacation in Estes Park I also um, purchased some books oops there my light went I also purchased some books um, from a library bookstore and what they do is they sell their used books and I, I looked up in my area and a few others and a lot of um, places their libraries have a used bookstore and I bought got these for 25 cents so I'm going to show you this one is um, from the flapper from the 20s era, era and it has all kinds of um, pictures and things in here that could be used in a, uh, in a in a journal so I got that for 25 cents um, I got about six of these and this is a whole set the fabulous century and it's a time life books and each book had a different type of cloth cover. I like the covers themselves. I like. Um, I think what I'm going to do with these covers is a little too big to make a junk journal out of. But I think I'm going to make some glue books out of this and put them in my shop. But anyway, like say this is the 1930s and 40s, and each one of them has all different types of um, you know pictures and things in there, and then it's just it's wonderful so the whole thing is basically all pictures just about so it's great there's advertising um, and these were 25 cents each here's one I already, some of the pages already were coming out of this one but some of them they have newspaper print they have ads they have all kinds of things in them and again 25 cents so, um, like this was in Estes Park, so let's see. Something that is a good source, too, is like, you know, when you're looking for um, dictionaries, old dictionaries, this is a Spanish-English um, dictionary, and the reason you want different dictionaries is, you know, obviously the different print, things like that. Yeah, this is 1957. There's a piece of a uh, calendar in there. But anyway, you know, so here's that for 25 cents. I got a, a uh, 100 narrative poems. And even though this is a little water stained in here, to me it's perfect. And has a different font, different texture. That's cool to have. Um, I did find... Uh, this book of uh, non-flowering plants so you can see those those would be great to cut out and put in a journal you could fussy cut a lot of those something to look at I found this uh, art and architecture of Tuscany and a lot of the pictures in here are a great size to cut out and use um, so that's pretty cool and then again I got another just a just a regular old dictionary um, so there you go um, a lot of times you can find music books that type of thing so you don't have to spend a lot of money 
um, for your supplies if you don't want to um, I will pay a little more for special things like this um, because you know it's not readily available I'm not gonna be able to find it anywhere but also um, check thrift stores you'd be surprised what you'll find so anyway guys that's all I came on to do is to kind of share all this before I put it all away and also to announce that I am five subscribers away from a very big giveaway um, I'm gonna give away to three different people as soon as I hit 1200 should be any day now and um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that was coming up um, like I said I don't know when that'll be it could be today it could be tomorrow it could be next week I don't know uh, and I will come on and do that as a separate video um, you know so subscribe and like and I'm going to be picking out of the uh, random comments, so it'll be based on comments, and I'm going to use the ram random com comment picker and um, pick um, three winners, and that'll be announced as soon as we hit uh, 1,200, so that's all I have, guys, so maybe uh, I'll see you like in the next day or two with that. I'm also going to do a continuation and finishing up of my uh, uh, boho junk journal that we're doing. We're in the process of doing this and we've done a lot of things. We've made a lot of things to put in it and I think now we're going to be doing the pages and finishing it up and hopefully we'll get that done in the next week and after that I'm not sure what we're going to do. I've had some requests to do some other things and um, I don't know. We're just going to kind of just play it by ear. Um, so, but anyway, um, hopefully we'll be doing the big giveaway. And also, I am kind of redoing my craft room and reorganizing a bit. And so I probably will be doing another uh, craft room tour and an organizing uh, tour, uh, organizing video um, real soon. Just because I need to because it's a big mess. So, um, so anyway, stay tuned for that, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next day or two with my giveaway. Alright, take care.